That's all a bit of an anticlimax, isn't it? You wouldn't know what to do if you saw it. entertainment with the MC with the most. This is now the Rolls Hall Hotel, I just heard him say. Anyway, we'll do our best to overcome that. Okay, anytime you like. Shake a honey, please don't lose It's the rhythm that gets into your heart and soul Let me tell you, baby, it's called rock and roll Well, say you scored a dollar, honey, please let's face it It's called rock and roll. Thank you very much. Don't get... Uh, no, I can't. This surely can't be the, uh, the way it's going to be. This is the band which doesn't even rehearse together, so it's pretty hit and miss. But it's nice for everybody to be here for such a, another good occasion, for another good reason. Last time, I think it was a good time that we had. Yeah, no, yeah, no. OK, so let's try and do the same thing again. OK, in E.
Thank you. Here's one uh, moving a little further away from the 50s and into 1970 when uh, Leon Russell started to record some of the blues masters, mainly Freddie King. It's one that features the magnificent saxophone playing of Mr. Dave Winthrop. Would you please welcome? All the way from working with a lady with a large beehive hairstyle. Nice to have her here tonight. This is called Going Down.
Spencer Davis back in 1964 or five. It's called Every Little Bit Hurts. Okay.
Okay, this is uh, one now moving right along. This is uh, one from a guy called Albert King. It's a number called Crosscut Saw. Preceded by a very short intermission. Okay. How are you today?
baby, break me, crush your love. Yeah, cross cut summer. Now, baby, drag me, crush your love. Say hard. <laughs> Mr. Robbie Blunt on guitar. Uh, the bar is still open as we speak. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, that was. Uh, Albert King number, we're going to move in, I suppose, from about the mid-50s towards the late 60s, there was a kind of boom or a recognition of American blues guitarists, including B.B. King and Freddie King, Albert King, uh, Otis Rush, Fenton Robinson, you name, so many different players. And this next song is a song by Otis Rush that was covered by John Mayle and his Blues Breakers in the 60s. Oh, you didn't know about the... No, 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 no. It's a song called All Your Love.
kisses, kisses. Thank you. I need your love. Are you going to in, Here's one that's long been a favourite in the skip it. Sk Who's is that? Oh, is it Tom? There's one that's long been a favourite in the Skinny Dippers uh, repertoire. It's number by Don Gardner and D.D. Ford. It's called I Need Your Loving Every Day.
kicks in. I'd like to bring to your attention, ladies and gentlemen, a, a guitarist of great renown. Would you welcome Mr. Andy Sylvester? Who used to know Stan Webb very well. Thank you very much. That's uh, one of Carl Perkins' uh, sweetest songs. This is, a, this is a song that was made very famous in, uh, some 20 years ago by Ray Charles. It was written by Hoagie Carmichael. And it's called Georgia on my mind. Set it on. Just that old sweet song Keeps Georgia on my mind I said, Georgia Oh, Georgia The whole day through Comes a sweet and clean as moonlight to the pine other arms reach out to me other eyes smile tenderly still in me <laughs> Hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, just a minute. Hang on. It is, it is a very, very, very cold night, and a lot of us have got the flu, and some of this day nurse and night nurse stuff, can, is, it's playing havoc with uh, one or two, uh, with the drummer especially. Would you welcome from California, Mr. Richie Haywood? Somebody ought to 
candidate in. We're now going to try and all of us play the same song, yeah, at the same time on the same stage. So. Okay, this is a song that was made very famous by Ray Charles in the 1960s. It was written originally by Hobie Carmichael. It's another version, it's, in fact, it's take two of Georgia on my mind. Would you give us a large round of applause to help us get started? 180. Any minute now, we shall hear Jez Woodruff on keyboards. It's, there's every likelihood that sooner or later... Just that old sweet song Keeps Georgia on my mind Oh yes, on my mind Georgia
Thank you very much. That was really cool. How to make friends and influence people. <clears throat> okay. Just, it's a track written by uh, Arthur Big Boy Crudup, who was a great influence uh, in Memphis, Tennessee in 1953 and 54. It's called Mystery Train. This uh, number is dedicated to a very uh, noble son of Monmouth, a man called Rowley. Anybody know Rowley? Okay, Rowley, this is called Born Under a Bad Sign.
Not to be deterred because we, uh, Mr. Danter, uh, who most kindly allowed this hall to be used for this function, for this charity, has said that if we do all right here tonight, we can play in Ross on Wye and get paid. <laughs> uh, not Wembley or the NEC. Uh. Okay, this is great fun. Uh, but this is one called Roll, Roll, Roll. It's a kind of medium fast shuffle which is just being sort the tempo of which is just as we speak being sorted out. Okay, everybody together.
Thank you, Mr. Ray Martinez on guitar from Monmouth's Town Centre, Mr. Ray Martinez. A shareholder in the Nags Head, would you please? A man without whom Cliff Richard would be lost. All those hits. I'm talking about... <laughs> In the wrong gear, son. Ah, there's a man I recognise. <laughs> there seems to be in different parts of Monmouth, different fraternities of people who gather, like in the back of the Beaufort, you get a certain clientele. In the Nags, you get a certain clientele. In the Queen's Edge, you get a certain clientele. Down over by the bridge, you get a certain clientele. And here tonight, the epitome of the young set. All sort of 18 to 22, raring to go three times a night. And this is especially for you, just to show that uh, we don't really know what the hell we're doing. Uh, Robert, hang on, just a minute.
And that's all it takes. All these years of sweating and all these years of playing places and, and all the thoughts about, about what we really wanted to do with music, you know? And, and all the importance that we put on the wrong things. And really all we've got to do is go around places like this, playing Cliff Richard songs, and we'll all be okay. I can't remember the word. And if you think that's bad, try this one. <laughs> oh Christ. We just have a if you could just talk amongst yourselves with enthusiasm, we'll just tune up a second. <laughs> In, in 1949, uh, Clyde McFatter left Billy Ward and the Dominoes and he formed a group in New York City called the Drifters. In about 1958, Clyde McFadder left the Drifters and continued with a solo career, having such hits as Lover Please and some other ones I can't remember. And it was at that time that a young black singer called Benny King joined the Drifters and the Drifters continued to have hit after hit, and they were in fact the first black rhythm and blues group to use violins on a record. Hits like I Count the Tears, uh, um, no, no, we're doing that one. This is one of the hits that they had. Oh, shut up. What do you want for nothing? What do you want for nothing? Oh, 
A large round of applause for the lighting then. That was uh, an impersonation of um, the NEC. Can we have that again once more? Hey! Feel intimidated. Okay, we'd like to say goodnight. Uh, this is a number by... We've, we've been concentrating on, I suppose, on trying to do as much as we could in one rehearsal and we've drawn from the 60s and the 50s and stuff but we haven't drawn from the american west coast so this is one from a band called moby grape it's called can't be so bad
Uh, a good night from a uh, very flu-ridden skinny dipper. What do you think of that then? Do you know, I can't understand why they're looking so hot. They're all back here sweat. I just can't work it out. Well, I suppose you want some more. I thought you might. Well, as per normal, they've just gone back just to get a bit of refreshment. But I'm sure if you shout loud enough, applaud very, very loudly, they will come back and play some more. So let's hear you then for Honey Dippers. Come on. Okay, just before they come back, I understand there's going to be some sort of announcement here. Yeah. On, uh, on behalf of uh, Monmouth Geriatrics, uh, I would like to thank One Fell Swoop, Henry Danter, and the boys from the Nags for arranging all this. And finally, the biggest thanks to Robert Plant and the band for performing tonight. Absolutely superb. Thank you very much. 
your money tonight, your money tonight will make sure that Monmouth has a community bus. Thank you very much. Okay, this is the uh, the big time then. That's here, yeah. Let's have a round of applause for Skinny Dippers. Let's see if we can get them back on stage again. Come on. Now, if all goes as per normal, it usually takes about five minutes of this before he comes back on stage. You like sending me up, so do you want to hear some more? No, he's, he's not urgent. Do you want to hear some more? <laughs> Once more, come on. Do you want to hear some more? Excellent. I might say, this, let's give this man a great round of applause. I think he's done a wonderful job tonight. I, there are not many men left with this sort of caliber of keeping a crowd happy and keeping them informed about what actually, who's actually going to be standing on this spot in very few minutes to come. So would you give this gentleman a large round of applause? Thank you. Well done, mate. How much is that going to cost me? A uh, large... Uh, nothing at all, actually. Coming through. The anticipation's just like Tokyo, Robbie. <coughs> Song from Jerry Lee Lewis. See. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, what do we do with the body on this 
I know. Ah, little sister. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here's a B-side from Elvis Presley. It's on the flip of his latest flame. Ah. <clears throat> we never thought we'd ever do this again. This one's for Dave Edmonds. It's called Little Sister. Good night.